Thank you for coming by and watching this video. If you enjoy this video or feel you've benefited from it, consider going to patreon.com forward slash newbiehack and support these efforts. You'll have access to 20 of my latest videos that hasn't been published on YouTube yet. Okay, I'm back. I had to do a huge amount of research to figure out something simple. But when you see what I had to do, you'll understand. In the last video, we successfully displayed the temperature reading in its digital form. And the temperature reading, as you can see, is around 1732, 31. Sometimes it'll go down to 1720 or 1740. And I was hoping to take their existing information on their, on their reference manual. Let's see if I can find it. So in the reference manual, they actually have some code examples at the end of their manual. And around here at 17 or um, A716, they show you a temperature computation code example. But in the documentation, they'll actually show you a formula to compute the temperature in degrees. And this is what this is supposed to be doing as well. So let's take a look at that other formula. And this is the formula that they say, calculate the actual temperature using the form fo following formula. And this is the data that we're given. And it says to divide that by 4095. But we're multiplying it by the 3.3 the or not sure what this actual number is, if it's the 3.3 or if it's the digital form of that number. We're taking that V sense we've just calculated and we're putting it, plugging it into this formula. And then we're using the average slope, which is the, uh, the actual um, temperature degree change between the voltage references um, of 30 degrees and 100 degrees. But they don't tell you that here. And you add 30 degrees Celsius to it because that's what is computed at a particular calibration from the factory. So let's go back to the code example. And you'll notice that there are a couple lines here, defines, and these are calibrated. They actually store the calibrated temperature at 30 degrees and at 110 degrees. So they actually put a number and they store it in the microcontroller at the factory because every microcontroller is different in its calibration. So when they run this to the factory and do the, they do their tests, they determine at 30 degree temperature what the voltage reference is and they store that in digital form in this address. And then they do the same thing for 110 degrees. They store that temperature in digital form in this address on the microcontroller. So you have a good reference of what 30 degrees is as a voltage reference and what 110 is, 110 degrees is as, as a voltage reference. And you can use this to get a high and low. You can use this in calculating the actual temperature. So we have the low and we have the high and we can determine the average slope from these two numbers, computing it, and I think that's what they're attempting to do here. I could not get it to work successfully, but let's figure out how to get it to work for real. And we'll use the standard slope intercept formula, which I've done many times in the, the AVR series, where we try to figure out from the analog to digital converter, you have a number and you have also high and low points or range within that, where that number would be lying within. And with your microcontroller, these numbers will be different, or they might be different. Most likely they will be, because no two microcontrollers will have the same values at 30 degrees and at 110 degrees. I think this is a brilliant thing to actually include in microcontrollers, but they could have explained it a little bit better. Which brings us to another point, and that is you have the reference manual, but you also have the data sheet for the specific microcontroller as well. So let's go to that data sheet. Actually, let's go here first. So I wanna show you how to look this up a lot easier. Let's go back down to A716. 
16 here. So we're, we're going to look up this number right here. Control C, and we're going to go back. And really, this is just for your information because you don't, really don't need to go to this data sheet to find um, to find this information. But it does give you a good, handy data sheet to maybe find other things that you might find that are very helpful or important. So you can see it says TS Cal 1. That's his temperature sensor, calibration 1. And there would be a calibration 2, but they don't list it in this data sheet, unfortunately. But it shows that the TS ADC raw data acquired at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. And here is the key. To improve the accuracy of the temperature sensor measurement, each device, microcontroller, is individually factory calibrated by ST. The temperature sensor factory calibration data are stored by ST in the system memory area, which is here. And this would be two 16-bit locations, I believe, or two 32-bit. Yeah, it would be two, uh, yeah, two 32-bit lo uh, memory locations in the system area, memory area, accessible in read-only mode. So you can't change it, obviously. You don't want to change it because that's what is set for your, for your microcontroller. And notice that they don't give you the other calibration. This one is the one for 30 degrees, but they're not providing you with the calibration for the 110 degrees. And I'm thinking, well, maybe this is an error in their data sheets, or maybe they only provide one bit of information for this particular line of microcontrollers. I looked in other data sheets and I did see both of them in there. And I did do some testing before recording this particular video. And I did notice that both of these values are in fact located in the microcontroller. And they would really have to be because you need two points of reference to be able to find out a range and to be able to determine an average slope for use in a, in a slope intercept formula. So let's first take a look and see what these two values are. You'll see that in this program, they're using a pointer and all they're doing is they're giving you access to that memory address. And the way they're getting the value in that memory address is they're using the pointer asterisk symbol to do that. Since the number is only a 12-bit number probably, they're giving, they're casting it as a 16-bit number. They don't really need the 32-bit number of that memory address because the 16-bit number is sufficient and it's probably right aligned within that memory address anyway. So let's plug these defines into the program and see if we can access those numbers and see what they are. So let's go ahead and put it on the top of the file, on the top of the program. So before I get into this, and convert the temperature. Let's just go ahead and review what we've done so far. And I'm gonna take out these LCD lines because I only use these for debugging and we really don't need these anymore because I know that they work. So as I take them out, I'll review what we're doing here. So initially we're calibrating the analog to digital converter, making sure that we have good readings and we're selecting a clock source for the analog to digital converter we enable the adc and then we create the sample rate which is really the slowest sample rate we select the channel 16 which is reserved for the temperature sensor we're taking the temperature sensor and we're turning it on in fact I noticed that this needs to be right next to the enabling. So right when we enable it, we need to turn it on. So these two things should be happening at the same time. And then we're, we're enabling the, the reference voltage. And in here, I wanna show some information here. So I'm gonna just say temp. Okay. And I'm going to show this number right after temp. So it's going to be on the 0y. And then x, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll put an equal sign here. So 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let's put it at the fifth position. Or I could actually, I'd like to put a colon instead. And I'm just going to put an x, 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 x. Because it's going to be a four digit number. I'll put this to four. And over here, and this x, 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 x will be, will disappear once the number takes its place anyway. So that's a good way to sort of reserve certain portions of the screen. So I'm going to put the 30, 30 degree um, calibrated value, the, vo uh, the 30 degree voltage value, and that will have four numbers there, four characters, and then the one that was calibrated at 110. One, two, three, four. That's exactly 16 characters. Yep, 16 characters, so that's that's good. So let's take a look at this here. We're gonna call, the, or we're gonna um, use this address and put it in another location. So this one is the 110. Let's start with the 30. So the 30 would be, we put the pointer symbol before that. So we're looking at the contents of the address, not the address itself. And we want this to be on the second line and let's see which one, two, three, four, or zero, zero, one, two, three. So three. And then the next one will be the 110 color rated value. And this will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The twelfth position on the second line. Let's take a look and see if we have a good compile. Okay, so we got a warning here. Oh, I had this in there when I was doing my research, so we don't really need that yet. So let's go ahead and do this again. Okay, no errors. So let's go ahead and flash the microcontroller and see what happens. Okay, success. So you can see that the, the digital voltage value is at 30 degrees is 1764 and at 110 it's at 1336. So, and we can see that our temperature is lying around 1728. So you can tell that it's closer to the 30 than it is 110, obviously, because it's not very cold or not very hot in here. And the chip isn't giving off any significant heat. So let's see if we can figure this out using a intercept, slope intercept formula.